Hey everybody, it's Dave from Clean Pro Supply. We're gonna do a video walkthrough of the PumpTech Water Otter. If you have any questions in the process of this video, feel free to comment below, and I'm happy to either reach out directly through private message or comment as a reply to your question. This is the PumpTech Water Otter. As you can see on the front, it's the, uh, the PumpTech Series 360U. That's the actual pump on the front of the unit here. And then of course, it's got the, the motor that's, that's the bulk of the machine. This is a marathon motor with the PumpTech pump on the front. So this part here is the motor, and then this part here is the pump. You can see here it's got the 110 volt or 120 volt power cord, and it has the internal breaker here, so you can plug that right into the outlet and then make sure that that's functioning right there. As a second safety feature for the motor itself, in addition to your reset buttons here, there's a reset switch there as well. So if you're using this and for some reason it turns off and this is engaged, your circuit is still engaged, but for some reason it's still not working, you can go ahead and, and push this red reset button. Typically that'll happen if it gets too hot, it'll trip that, and then usually you just have to wait for it to cool down and then press it. Uh, it is typically a hard press though, so if you push a little bit and nothing happens, you may have to either wait longer or give it a nice, real hard, firm press, and you'll feel it kind of pop in and click when it, when it re-engages. On the front side here, there's a little power switch there on off very simple design this will produce about 1200 psi you may experience a little bit of a pressure drop down to a thousand psi maybe 800 psi depending on the flow of the jets on the tools you're using so if you're using it for town drought cleaning for example and you set it at a thousand psi as soon as you pull your trigger it may drop to maybe 800 psi so feel free to crank it up a little bit more if needed just to compensate for that pressure drop which is normal but this also does have an internal bypass so if you turn it on get everything hooked up you start using it and you see your pressure gauge here bumps up to a thousand psi and then you're using your tool and it's at a thousand psi great but then you let go of your trigger and your tool if you see this drop down to zero the reason for that is because there's an internal bypass the pump is still you know shooting the motor is still turning but it's bypassing the water just moving within itself and then when you pull that trigger again it's creating a bypass or creating a demand for the water it's going to re-engage and it's going to push the water out right here so of course there's no tank so we have to feed this somehow Here's the water inlet. There's just a little garden hose attachment with a, a strainer. Some people will put change this out or add a fitting on here to give it a 3 8 quick connect for a water inlet as well. Or you can just keep the garden hose. Uh, the garden hose does leak a little bit sometimes though, so we generally swap these over to a, a 3 8 water inlet quick connect. And then this is a quarter inch output quick connect. Uh, female, you can also add on a, a male you know, to your solution hose and come out that way, or you can swap this out and then put the male on the unit and put the female on your hose. So whatever your personal preference is, that's up to you. When you get this machine in the box, when we ship it to you, this is actually gonna be off the unit. So this is just your quick connect output, but when we ship it so that there's no damages, this will just be loose. You know, it'll be packed well, but it'll be loose in the box. So when you get this either from us or directly from the manufacturer, you'll just wanna take this and thread this on here. It's a tapered thread. Screw that on and tighten it snug, and then you're good to go. Here's your regulator. This will adjust your pressure. So you're gonna turn it clockwise to increase your pressure, or you're gonna turn it counterclockwise to decrease your pressure. Other than that, that's pretty much it. You've got your nice handle here that's centered. There's a couple of rubber uh, bumpers on the bottom. So when you're setting it on the ground, it's not gonna scratch anything. Um, pretty straightforward. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. Happy to help.